Today was a little bit different. I didn't see it coming. I, I, I really didn't see it coming. Every day could be different in this world we call fuel hauling. Now I wake up this morning early, 1 a.m. I get to work early, about 2.30 a.m. I go on do this so I can start getting paid for all of my time. I do my 30 minute pre-trip. I check everything. The truck, the trailer, the brakes, the tires, the oil, the coolant, the lights, the brakes. I check everything. The airlines. I make sure we 100% safe before that truck roll onto these dangerous highways and byways and streets and corners. I make sure we safe. So we roll out, three in the morning, we go get loaded. I do the loading. We loading that good old fresh diesel. It's me and Mr. Charlie. Mr. Charlie in the passenger seat, I'm driving the truck. Ever since Mr. Charlie gave me the keys, baby, I've been whipping this truck through the streets of Nashville, Tennessee, baby. We go get loaded. Load up the whole trailer full of that good, great, high-speed chicken feed diesel. First stop, the truck stop. We get to the truck stop at 4 in the morning. Now, you know at 4 in the morning at any truck stop, it's slam-packed. But this one was a little bit different. We pulled up to this truck stop, went around back to the fuel island where the truck drivers park at. Man, it was lot lizards, werewolves, dogs, coyotes. It was everything back there rolling and creeping around. Y'all got a lot of strange activity going on in these truck stops in Nashville, Tennessee. What y'all got going on in the back of some of these truck stops at 4 in the morning? Because, man, I'm a fuel hauler. I get to creep in and see what's going on. I see what's going on at 4 in the morning, truck drivers. But, you know... Fuel hauls, we don't say nothing. We just do our job and keep it moving. Now, we getting close to where we got to drop at. There's two trucks in the way. They park on the drop. The first truck driver, he just happened to either see us coming or either he was finna leave out or either he didn't get the, uh, the desired attention that he was seeking. Maybe he just got finished with one of those werewolves that was walking around the parking lot out there. I'm not too sure which one it was. I didn't see anything. I did not see anything. He left. It was one more guy, flatbed driver, parked on the drop. I tell Mr. Charlie, I said, uh, hey, Mr. Charlie, uh, knock on his door, man, and uh, just knock on his door, wake him up. Tell him pull forward or something, and uh, I'm going to turn around up here and come back. Mr. Char, all right, I got you, no problem. Mr. Char, get out the truck. I go circle around the freaking uh, truck stop. I come back. I come back, and now I was only gone for a good 10 seconds. I come back. I'm like, man, what the hell is Mr. Charlie? I mean, what the hell is going on? So I'm riding, I'm looking. I'm looking. I let the window down a little bit, man. All I hear is screaming, cussing, and fussing. But they on the other side of the truck. So I'm like, man, God damn, somebody think it is. Kid, man, what's going on? I'm looking, but I don't see nothing. So, you know, I bad back a little bit. I stop, pull the brakes. I get out the truck. I'll go around the truck to see what all the commotion is. It's Mr. Charlie. Mr. Charlie out there with one of them Haitian black. African Americans, boy, look, they didn't, the African dude, he didn't have no shirt on, and his face was red. He was about to put a beating on Mr. Charles. Oh, Mr. Charles, yeah, hold on, hold on, what's going on? I, I tried to defuse the situation because it was already out of control. Mr. Charlie over there, oh, yeah, man, I'm just trying to tell you, you, you part the legal, you know, Mr. Charlie got that good, that good, uh, uh, greats, that great, uh, uh, pronunciation of, of the correct uh, of words that you're supposed to, the legal words, the the, the, the don't get fired words, that good vocabulary. You know, Mr. Charlie got a 
well, well, well it is, sir, uh, you, you parked illegally, and I'm, I'm just asking you, can you move because you're parked on the fuel drop, so we just need you to scoot up, man. Four in the morning, black man, them werewolves didn't knock on his door, they went past his truck, he, he ain't had no money, I don't know which one it was. They didn't service him, so he upset, he 38 hot, baby! And now Mr. Charles just knocked on his door at four in the morning? He was expecting to see greatness. You look outside his window, there's Mr. Charlie. Oh! Take off his. I said, oh, Mr. Charlie, what's. So, man, I'm trying to fuse the situation. I said, hey, man, hold on, brother. Hold on, man. Look, I know it's tough out here, man. I know it ain't no money being made in these streets. I know how it is, man. Look, I, look I've been now. I been, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. Don't attack Mr. Charlie. Mr. Charlie's face all red and puffy and... Well, he got crazy out there. And then the man said... Told Mr. Charlie he ain't moving. And if Mr. Charlie walk over there and knock on his door again, he gonna throw a cup of piss in his face. I said, oh my God. Whew, it's getting serious, boy. I said, it's getting serious, Mr. Charlie. Mr. Charlie, get back in the truck. Get back in the truck, Mr. Charlie. We're gonna drop this shit later. Get, get, get in the truck. We gotta regroup. We got to regroup because I, I got to teach you some. Get in the truck, Mr. Charlie. I got to teach you some things about how to work out here in the hood, mister. You in the hood trying to drop this fuel. and I, That's my job. I'm, I'm training you, mister. You training me on the fuel. I'm going to train you on how this go in the hood. Get back in the truck, Mr. Charlie. We got to go around in a couple of circles. We're going to come back. That man cool down. Get in the truck. We're going to come back. So, Mr. Charlie, he had to get on in the truck. And we just had to go and uh, we, we just, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, they call it split load, but uh, we just split the load at another truck stop somewhere else. And then we came back later and finished the drop. So I had to say, Mr. Charlie, today, so for that, I do believe I deserve uh, a early safety bonus, because I was very safe. I kept the scene, the situation that we was in, under control. If, if I wasn't there, Mr. Charlie would have been pretzel. They, yeah, they were going to break Mr. Charlie in half. He was going to break Mr. Charlie in half. First of all, he did not knock on this man, though, and stood there. <laughs> that was the first mistake. Knocking on one of these truck drivers' doors and standing there. First of all, can you imagine that truck driver just rolled out of bed? He was expecting to see greatness outside that window. And when he opened his curtains, it was Mr. Charlie. Oh! <laughs> I got to stop. I got to stop. <laughs> I know what it was. I know what it was. I know what he was expecting to see. I know what it was. He wasn't parked right there for no reason. He had a front row parking spot too. I know what's going on at four in the morning at the truck stop. Yeah, he had a front row parking spot. He thought he had the perfect parking spot. Look, all these spots filled up, the whole sidewalk filled up. He said, Man, I'm gonna give me a good spot. I'm gonna park on the fuel drop. And I'm going to catch all the action. And as soon as Mr. Charlie went to go knocking on that door at 4 in the morning, he said, man, I got me one. Open them curves, and it was Mr. Charlie. That boy went 38 high. I got to get up out of here, y'all. Catch y'all in the next video. We're not here like this, right? Yeah, man, we need the whole area. We got to be able to pull straight in. I'm behind the fucking side, that's it. You You're still blocking the fire hydrant, too, though. That shit ain't got nothing to do with you dropping fuel. It has to do with what me working for this store. I work for this company. We got to make sure that this stuff is open. Hey, you don't. You probably the sport driver that driving that driving. You the only fucking one that can fucking. All right, man. Have a good have a good morning. <laughs> how about that? Have a good morning. Why? Fucking my door. How do, that's not a threat. I'm letting you know that you're illegally parked. All right. Hey, have a good day. We'll leave it to have a good day. We'll leave it to have a good day. We'll leave it to have a good day. I'm gonna walk my window, I'm gonna fucking go clean your face. Fuck out of here. Driver ain't making no money, man. See, that's the freight world. Huh? That's the freight world. You got a flatbed trailer, low, 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 low